This is Jesus Manuel Menegars. I hope you're having a fantastic day. Thanks for checking out my YouTube channel, Eclectic RV and Travel Adventures. Thank you very much. Today we're taking a peek at the 2020 Cougar 22 RBS, a very nice and uh, sleek 26-foot uh, couples camper. Here's the layout. It has a king bed. Everybody appreciates a nice size bed. The dry weight of this unit is 5,607 pounds. Uh, the fresh water capacity is 60 gallons. And the gray and black are each 30 gallons. So I was at the uh, 2020 Tarrant County RV show and they were very nice to me, all the sales crew from the event and also from the various dealerships. So there's a ladder to go to the roof to uh, check your seals, make sure there's no damage and you're not getting any water intrusion. You get a spare tire and if down there you can uh, attach a little uh, tray or a bike rack. That's about it. Over there you have the Moride Solid Step. I really like these steps. These are high quality steps. I think all travel trailers and fifth wheel should have uh, solid steps or their competitor version uh, from uh, Leopard. One thing that uh, separates this uh, travel trailer, the Cougar 22 RBS, from a lot of more pedestrian uh, budget options is the InCommand Pro Series Generation 3 with Global Connect uh, system there, right there. That controls a lot of your electronics and they have a tablet inside to control it. There you see the plywood construction, not no chipboard, nothing budget about this uh, travel trailer at all. And of course they have the Furion camera system with marker lights. That's appreciated. Up front they give you two, two, count them, two. <laughs> 30 pound propane tanks instead of the usual 20 pounders. Uh, I don't think they're in there, but they'll give them to you uh, when you uh, pick up the unit. And of course this has a power tongue jack and uh, all the goodies. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. I would greatly appreciate it. I need more subscribers to this new YouTube channel of mine. Up front there is the automotive styled and tinted front windshield. Very nice. A lot of the uh, RV manufacturers are going that route. Don't forget to put a little bit of a protective uh, plastic shield over that window so it won't crack as readily. They do sell it from a different manufacturer. I think Scotch makes one. There's a pass-through storage and of course this has uh, solar prep and right there's a docking station and there's one of the slides. I tried to go through there but I do not fit. Amazing. <laughs> I do not fit. So we're gonna go to the other side really quickly here. We're over here on the other side now. I flipped around and uh, there's the uh, back end of the refrigerator. You can see the tires and the rims. And this is very old school. They uh, have the 30 amp power cord. You have to yank it out. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'd prefer something that plugs in. The opinions expressed in this video are mine and mine alone, by the way. And there's the steps. They make them, uh, Moride makes them and Lipper makes them and they're both very good. So let's go inside. This is one of your main storage areas. I really like the aesthetics of this unit. I like the uh, handles. I like the wood. I like the quality in general. I really, really like this travel trailer. I see nothing really wrong with it. Some more storage down here. And of course the fuse box at the bottom. There's a porcelain foot flush toilet. It's easier to clean than your plastic type. You've got a little triangle shaped uh, storage up there where you can put your towels, various products like TP, and you get a towel rack, and you get this plastic uh, sink. I'd prefer a metal sink or a porcelain sink, but you know, you have to cut corners somewhere. There's an area where you can put some TP and whatever items you want. And up there is the medicine cabinet. It's a nice size medicine cabinet. Very conveniently located, and of course, there's power receptacles down there. They do not have a fantastic or a max air fan. I would upgrade that cheap old fan and put one of those right there if I could. Only 200 bucks and you're set. We're inside the uh, shower area and it's a good size shower area for all you big boys and big girls. You can fit in there. Uh, all you puny people like me, we have no issues. We fit in there. In fact, we can have three or four of us in there having a good time. Here's a view from the uh, restroom towards the kitchen. 
the galley area, living area, towards the bedroom. And there's that control system, the in-command. That's, again, wow. It's state-of-the-art. I'm really impressed by that system. Thermofoil countertops right there. Of course, as you can see, the oven, the stovetop. And to the left, they have the uh, dinette. And a nice-looking dinette indeed. Here's the refrigerator. I had some issues opening up <laughs> the refrigerator. It might have been me or it might have been the refrigerator. I do not know. I couldn't open the bottom refrigerator compartment if my life depended on it. I'm trying to open it up and it wouldn't let me. It's an eight cubic foot unit, so it's a good size refrigerator. I can open up the freezer, no problem. I can open up the Dometic freezer, but uh, below there, no way, Jesus, it wouldn't allow me. I guess I'm, uh, they didn't want me to go in there. I guess they had some uh, beer hidden inside or something. They didn't want me to get any of that. So there's another view of the uh, kitchen area from uh, the, ba uh, the back area. And again, I really like that dinette. It's beautiful. I absolutely think it's uh, very tasteful. I like the uh, design. You get windows all the way around. You get three sets of windows, and I like that. And I like these uh, blinds, sort of a tropical, you know, wooden look. I don't know if they're wooden. Maybe they're not. Maybe they're a fake wood. Uh, and I like the valances too. But what do you think? Do you like them? That's what's important. You're the one that's going to buy this. Look at that big old window. Wow, that's a big window. And you get three lights up there and you get uh, the controls to the right there. I'll show you a little bit later how you can play with that little uh, light. Let's pan around and take a peek at the uh, kitchen area. Got plenty of storage. You got cabinets to the right, got cabinets to the left, you got some drawers to the left, and you got more cabinets up there. You got two that open up there and two that open up on the right. You got a microwave, a 0.9 cubic foot, barely, almost a cubic foot. <laughs> Have some receptacles right there. You got one, two, three drawers. And uh, there's that stove. It looks like a good size stove, 21 inch. That's a good size stove, don't you think? What do you call it? Oven? I get ovens and stoves and ranges all mixed up. I apologize. <sighs> nice cast iron grill there. I like the cast iron. That, you know, that'll last a lifetime. I like the little blue accent lights. And of course, they have the stainless steel double bowl sink. Nothing cheap here. No plastic. Uh, none of that American stone cast. They have the stainless steel. I love it. Again, I really, really approve of this unit. I, if you want to buy a good unit, uh, it's a little heavy uh, for most trucks, uh, light small trucks, but it's very well built. A plywood box construction there, uh, solid wood fronts, all metal glides, it's all good there. Even have a little glaze on top to, so you don't get any splinters. Wow. Nice storage there. And storage above too. It's good for a couple weeks of camping. Get some solar on the roof, get some lithium batteries, get yourself an inverter. You can uh, go out there for a while and hang out. And I like the quality of materials. The quality of materials is obvious on this 22 RBS by Cougar by Keystone. And there's that 0.9 uh, cubic foot microwave. And I'm playing with the switches for the vent. Nice arched, nice arched uh, ceiling there with a nice uh and here i am playing with that uh <laughs> for the lights in the dining my wife likes those uh you know type of uh, controls so you plop open the windows there no problem and here's a, some uh, storage you can put a call it a shirt a jacket closet any kind of storage you want and of course you have this little hidden area be below there so you can put some items and you have plenty of uh, receptacles to charge your electronic items and a good size TV uh, I don't like the placement of the TV but at least you get a TV and it's some generic summit or some who knows what brand of TV I'd have preferred uh, you know one of those Korean manufacturers like a like a LG or a Samsung that would have been nice or American Vizio you got those uh, blinds, those uh, accordion style blinds. Uh, I do not like those. I would prefer, uh, you know, those roller blinds, but you get what you get. Sometimes, you know, you, you want everything your way, but it never ends up being that way. You have to be, you have to have some, you have to compromise. 
Nice storage up there, and of course a nice bed. Throw a couple pillows there, and you are set. Get a nice view of the sky. Tinted windows. And again, I came back, and I want to show you that. Nice storage up there. And of course, you can always put a better fan up there. Maybe, uh, again, like I for the restroom, a Fantastic or a Max Air fan. Those typically sell for around 200 bucks, and they a couple screws, and you're done. Let me show you the controls here for the lights. The USB, the alternating current, etc. And they get them on both sides. You got the little tables, very well organized. And this is a king bed, by the way. I had a problem lifting this. <laughs> I am 60, going on 68 years old, so maybe I'm just getting too weak. I again apologize. Here's a view from the bedroom, looking up towards the kitchen area. So if in the middle of the night you want to say, hey, what, what do I got up there? Maybe I've got some uh, post dosties and I'll have some post dosties in the middle of the night. There's some receptacles and more. Uh, I want to show you one of these cabinets. Uh, again, solid wood fronts, uh, plywood you know, box construction, all metal glides, and a sealed membrane thermofoil countertops. I love those kind of countertops. It's one step below solid service. And that's a nice area for a waste basket. Would you put a waste basket down there? You have to sequester your waste from everything else. You don't want everything intermingling. So that's a great little spot for a little covered waste basket. Another shot of the sink. Another shot of the uh, stove top. This has been the 2020 Cougar 22 RBS. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. I would greatly appreciate it. And if you have a chance, check out my photography website, JMM Garza. Dot com. From Fort Worth, Texas, not there. That's a <laughs> that's by my sister-in-law's house in, in Mexico. This has been Jesus Manuel Managarza. Gracias. Adios. Bye bye.